Hello students, this is Sir Sankar and today we will discuss a new topic from class 6 English chapter 5 a different kind of school so in the previous class we have completed the chapter 4 the poem we have uh, discussed yesterday about uh, beauty and I hope you have gone through it at home also so today again we are here with a new relation a different kind of school so <clears throat> do you know uh, these words if you don't find out their meanings bandage crutch cripple honor misfortune system then look at the pictures in the in this unit and guess in what way this school may be different from other school so here in this lesson we will be learning a different kind of school okay a different kind of school that is there and we will see uh, in what way and how it uh, different uh, from our school okay that we will see here in this lesson point number one i had heard a great deal about miss beams auto uh, miss beams school but not till last week did the chance come to visit it so the narrator the author he had heard he had heard about miss beams school he had heard uh, many things no good things about miss beams school but he did not get a uh, chance uh, to visit but uh, finally uh, he got the chance and he visit there when i arrived there when the author no arrived there there was no one in the site he did not find anyone there in the school when he arrived there but only a girl he found a girl about 12 years old about how many years old 12 years old he found a girl about 12 years old and her eyes were covered with a bandage bandage you see how we can use no uh, many of you are playing this uh, game yes or not a uh, game uh, like uh, you close your eyes and you touch uh, the your friends and all right in that game uh, we and you use that bandage to close your eyes just like this here in this picture you can see one girl she is closing her eyes with the help of that uh, a bandage her eyes were covered with a bandage and <coughs> She was being led carefully between the flower beds by a little boy and a small boy who is younger than her, he is holding her hand, okay, where very carefully between the flower beds, between these flower beds here in the garden. And the boy, he was about uh, four years younger than the girl and finally uh, suddenly you know that girl she stopped she stopped and look and it looked like she asked him who had come and the author he could uh, understood you no know, uh, from the reactions and the appearance of the girl that she is stopped and she has been asking something to that uh, boy maybe uh, she is asking about the person who had come no he, and the boy he seemed to be describing me to her and the boy uh, he was describing about the arrival of the author about the arrival of the narrator okay then they passed on after that from there uh, they left that place miss beam was 
all that I had expected, middle age, full of authority, yet kindly and understanding. Her hair was beginning to turn grey, and she had the kind of plump figure. Plump means a little bit uh, pleasantly fat, okay? Plump figure, little bit uh, fat figure. So, plump figure that is likely to be converting to a homesick child. I asked her some questions about her teaching methods, which I had heard were simple. Now, as the author, he had heard and he had expected uh, how the Miss Beam she might be, no? She was a uh, middle age and she had uh, full authority. Uh, but uh, she is very kind. She is very kind and she is very understanding. She understands people, okay? And her hair also uh, was beginning to turn grey. Her hair, not all uh, it become grey, just uh, become uh, beginning, beginning to turn uh, the hair in, into grey color. So, and she had, uh, and she had a little bit a pleasantly. Uh, her figure is what a little bit fat. And he asked the author. He asked about the methods that she uh, had been applying in he, in her school. Okay, so no more than is needed to help them to learn how to do things: simple spelling, adding, subtraction, subtracting, multiplying, and writing. The rest is done by reading to them and by interesting talks during uh, which they have to sit still and keep their hands quiet. There are practically no other lessons. So as usual, uh, like other schools, they have also the same uh, methods like um, learning simple spelling, learning adding, subtracting, multiplying and writing and all. So all these about uh, are there and they sometimes there were a very interesting talks also. Apart from the reading, writing, there were some important and interesting talks during which they see they they have to sit still and keep their hands quiet so they talk about something the real aim of this school is not so much to teach uh, thought as to teach thoughtfulness kindness to others and being responsible citizen look at out of the window a minute will you so the miss she was giving the answer of the questions uh, asked by the author and she said that the real aim of this school no what is the uh, aim of this school what is not only to teach okay but to become the children thoughtfulness to become what thoughtfulness thoughtfulness means uh, the person who is very much uh, helpful who, who is very much uh, uh, taking care of others no who who is uh, very much happy uh, with the happiness of others so this type of persons you no know, call like thoughtfulness and this is school also aims to make the children uh, very uh, kindful you no know, kindness to others and make them a very responsible citizens so and after saying all this she asked him to look out where of the window for a minute so i went to the window which overlooked a large garden and a playground at the back what do you see miss beam asked so miss beam asking so what did you see after watching uh, through the window then the author she said he said 
I see some be very beautiful grounds. Very beautiful grounds. I said. And a lot of jolly children. It pains me though to see that they are not all so healthy and active looking. When I came in, I saw one poor little girl being led about. She has come trouble with her eyes. Now I can see two more with the same difficulty and there is a girl with a crutch watching the others to play. Watching the others to play. She seems to be a hopeless cripple. Now when he look at look out from through the window he, what he had seen a beautiful guard grounds he had seen a beautiful grounds and lot of jolly children many children he had seen and it also pains him that there are they are not all so healthy they are not so all healthy children and what active looking they are not so much healthy children and active looking some children are like this not active not healthy okay then he also said to miss beam that when he came in he saw a very poor uh, little girl uh, being led about so no one is small uh, younger than he her a boy uh, he was holding her hand and just uh, uh, let her uh, go here and there no he is helping the girl by holding her hands so he had seen this and it really pains the author and now again he can see there are two more with the same difficulty again two more children he uh, could see with the same difficulty and there again a girl with a crutch watching the others at play she seems to be a hopeless cripple and uh, she ha she is having a problems on her leg and she could not move so that problem uh, what the girl in the ground uh, was facing and this all the author he could see through the window and it really pained him miss beam laughed she laughed oh no she said she is not really lamb she is only her lamb day the others are not blind either it is only their blind day so what she said Mrs. Beam told him that it was only her uh, lame day and the girl he had seen uh, that blind girl it was not actually she was blind it was her blind day so I must have looked very surprised for she laughed again and after saying that she was laughing and the author was quite surprised what she is saying he could not understood he could not understood what is this no she is not uh, actually lame lame means unable to walk so, uh, she is not actually uh, blind it was her blind day so it is just going out of his head so the author could not understood what she was saying this is very important part of our system, she said. After laughing, she again said to the author that this is a very important part of our system. So, to make our children appreciate and understand misfortune, we make them share in misfortune too. Each term, every child has one blind day, one lamb day, one deaf day, one injured day and one dumb day. During the blind day, their eyes are bandaged absolutely and they are on their own not to peep 
the bandages is put on overnight so they wake blind this means that they need help with everything other children are given the duty of helping them and leading them about they all learn so much this way both the blind and the helpers so what she said here that this is a very important part of their system this is a system in her school uh, to make why this system uh, she has adopted in her school to make their their children appreciate what appreciate and understand misfortune misfortune means uh, the many children they are some uh, not so much lucky you know some are unable to walk some are unable to uh, see some are unable to hear some are unable you no know, to uh, speak so these were called the misfortune and the children must understand this the children must understand about this and they should not laugh at them they should help them they should uh, kind to them no so always and to make them uh, appreciate and understand misfortune they have this system okay share in misfortune too so each they have the term and in each term what they had uh, uh, to do uh, every child has one blind day every child they had what they have blind day they must remain one day blind they cannot see anything and one person one children they must have what injured the injured the they have some injury on their body it is actually not uh, uh, given injury to their body but it is just a uh, example no to to remain injury okay to remain injury just uh, we can say a, a game that is being played there and one dumb they cannot speak anything one dumb they cannot speak anything so so during the blind day what happened uh, their eyes were are bandaged their their eyes were bandaged with that very soft cloth go and that bandage is put and overnight at night uh, be, uh, when they sleep no they sh their eyes were bandaged covered with the bandage and when they wake up in the morning they were blind they were blind and this means that they need help if they are blind then obviously they need help from others so one person uh, is given one person is given the responsibility uh, of that blind boy or girl uh, to help him or her it is his duty of helping them okay and they all learn the person who remain blind or the person who remain injured or the person who remain dumb or the person who remain uh, lame uh, this person also and the helpers also they learn in this way they learn elation they learn elation in this way so i stopped here today in the next class we will uh, continue with the point number 10 i hope for whatever the things i taught you you have understood and if not then please you can ask me wherever you are having the problem then i could help you there and i keep on uh, saying to you all that self reading is very very important for you and if you are not reading at home then you are half learning only watching the video it means you are half learning but both the things you are doing at a time then you are reading the books also and you are watching the video also then you will understand the whole thing 
you will understand in a better way so that's why i always saying that self reading is very very important you must read the book by yourself reading is very important and after reading or after watching the video you can read or before watching the video also you can read okay so this is the work uh, at home you should do in a regular basis so i stopped here take care at home uh, have a good day thank you very much